Hi guys, it's Steven Geekface and I'm back again with another review for yourself here today, which is for the film called Brightburn, produced by James Gunn, who's well known for directing the Guardian Galaxy movies and is working a new Suicide Squad movie that comes out next year, I believe. Now, this is a premise that a lot of comic heads have seen before. What if someone like Superman came to Earth lived with good parents on a country farm but still turn out evil and this film supposedly answers that question. Before this film came out I was looking forward to this film. I'd seen the trailer, gave me a lot of horror feels and I was just looking to see what they're going to do with this type of idea. We have had films like this before, films like Chronicle starring Michael B. Jordan. Definitely go and check that film out. The fact this was dealing with a kind of a Superman type character, I was looking forward to it. So how does this film do? Now the acting in this film was pretty spot on. Elizabeth Banks does a really good job playing the, the annoying mum who is in denial about her son being evil. David Dummer who plays the father who is complete opposite from the mum and just wants to get out of this situation completely uh, did a really good job of playing, it didn't take any nonsense of the, of the main villain. The actor who plays the evil Superman, Brandon, uh, Jackson A. Dunn, does a pretty good job of being creepy Sometimes a little bit too creepy at times, but it works for the film. This film is a straight horror slasher movie. Just happened to have some with superpowers. They don't mess around with the gore. Um, there were some really uncomfortable scenes. One scene that has to deal with glass in somebody's eye and it made me just want to throw up. I'd rather have someone break my bones than watch that scene again. So it really, really works on the gore. Some jump scares work, sometimes a bit overboard at times, but you are in suspense waiting for this super villain to pounce on his new victim. Fortunately, the film is not exactly perfect. The story is very paper thin and as much as good as the premise is, they don't really do anything with it. The whole journey of this main villain becoming a villain and becoming this evil character, they don't really go into depth with it and it doesn't give you a really good reason of why he becomes a super villain, especially with when you see the background he's come from. It's literally of a click of a switch, he becomes evil and goes on a killing spree. Speaking of killing sprees, the killing, as much as they were fun to watch, some of it was unnecessary and some of it didn't make sense in terms of the story they were trying to tell. It does leave itself open for it to be a sequel or a new franchise of supervillains, I, I guess, but they don't really do anything with it in this particular film. And overall, it's kind of disappointing, especially the fact of me, myself, have read a, a certain comic books that kind of deals this question before, but doesn't go into depths in this particular film. You can still have fun with it, um, like I said, this is a new type of slasher type of film. Just happens to have a super villain with superpowers like Superman. So that's always fun to watch. But if you're looking for something in depth with the story and even the dialogue, then you might be disappointed. And I probably recommend you go watch films like Chronicle instead. So this film, I'm gonna give it a 5.5 out of 10. It's not perfect, it's fun. Um, but it needs work on the story if they are going to make any more of this particular film in the franchise. So, what did you think of this film? Are you going to watch this film? If you haven't seen it before, let me know in the comments down below. And remember to like, share, stay blessed, stay geeked. Bye-bye.